So we are going to learn about the four management bodies and we are going to learn about their periods. Uh, dia punya, dia berkuat kuasa during which, what period, uh, what's the uh, requirement uh, when such management body can be established. Uh, kita nak tahu dia punya birth date and then um, expiry date. Uh, okay, so management bodies for strata are uh, the bodies responsible for the management and maintenance of the common property. So, uh, common property sahaja yang perlu diuruskan, uh, yang perlu diselenggara, perlu di maintain, perlu di manage by the management bodies. Okay, petak tak perlu. Petak is within the response, responsibility of the uh, proprietor, of the petak punya owners. Okay, so the owners are responsible for the repairs, uh, maintenance of their own parcels but outside the outside their parcels, outside their accessory parcels is the responsibility of the management bodies. Okay, so who are exactly the management bodies? There are four groups, uh, four types. The first one is developer. Okay, confirm. Developer ada tanggungjawab utama to manage the and maintain the common property daripada awal. Bila dia sudah start uh, uh, vacant possession, there's a delivery of vacant possession sampai ada satu checkpoint, uh, we will come to the checkpoint tu. Uh, dia yang yeah, responsible for the management of the common property. Okay, developer. So, developer punya role penting dalam management and maintenance. Sampai sampai ke checkpoint tersebut which we are going to explore after this. Then, uh, bila dah sampai checkpoint tersebut, depending on whether strata title sudah keluar ke, belum ke, strata title tu keluar, kita panggil um, uh, MC sudah establish. Uh, tapi ada syarat dia. Uh, that's quite misleading. Uh, I can say that kalau vacant possession dikeluarkan tanpa strata titles. Ada dua situation. Okay. Delivery of vacant possession with strata title. Delivery of vacant possession without strata title. Vacant possession tu apa? Delivery of vacant possession tu apa? Ialah serah kunci. Serah kunci kepada siapa? Kepada proprietor. Okay. So that is the meaning of delivery of vacant possession. Bila kita serah kunci, sometimes Serah kunci bersama title. Sometimes serah kunci tanpa serata title sebab baru lambat. Delay. Uh, delay. Okay. Itu uh, yang kerajaan cuba untuk um, uh, apa? They, they are trying their best to get the system of which delivery of vacant possession together with strata titles punya issuance. Uh, itu that's the best um, situation, best scenario. Okay, but the, the the other scenario, scenario yang selalu berlaku ialah delivery of vacant possession without strata title. Strata title belum dikeluarkan lagi sebab takes time huh, for the issuance of strata title. Ada ada kadang-kadang sangkut, pasal title tak, pasal uh, title tanah, master title tu ada masalah. Uh, for instance, ada charge dulu so kena buka, uh, kena buang charge tu. Then barulah kita boleh proceed with the, uh, with the application for strata title. So macam-macam masalah that can happen, that can impede yang boleh uh, sebabkan kelewatan uh, issuance of strata title. Uh, tapi as I said, there are two situations they can possession with strata title they can possession without strata title punya issuance. Okay. Now, sekiranya they can possession without strata title issuance akan wujudlah satu badan, uh, satu management body which is called JMB Joint Management Body. So if I say that, that means ada certain situation yang mana JMB tak wujud, tak akan diwujudkan. Huh? Apakah, what is that situation? It's when strata title dikeluarkan sekali dengan uh, vacant possession, delivery of vacant possession. So tak perlulah ada orang tengah. Joint management body is the pertengahan before the ultimate uh, management body which is the management corporation. Okay. Management Corporation tu lah the, the end game. Uh, boleh cakap macam tu, end game. Untuk semua strata development, uh, kalau kita cakap pasal strata development, uh, strata management, the end game of strata management of strata development is the Management Corporation punya establishment. Uh, yang yang last sekali yang kita nak wujudkan ialah Management Corporation. Okay. okay. Management Corporation pula, okay, diperlukan in the case of in certain situations for mixed development that decided to have sub MC subsidiary management corporation okay so subsidiary MC sama ada you can choose to have sub MC okay you can choose not to have sub MC 
Uh, okay. okay. So this is by choice. Subsidiary Management Corporation, sub MC. Ini by choice. You boleh choose, uh, you meaning the owners of the strata development can choose whether to have a subsidiary MC ataupun tidak. Uh, ada subsidiary MC untuk uruskan different users. Kenapa? You akan belajar next week. Uh, you akan belajar sub MC. Uh, you akan belajar next week. Ah, uh, Yang mana sub MC ni sangat mahal. It's very expensive to establish the sub MC is very um, uh, burdensome juga kepada manage, uh, managing agent, kepada the MC uh, untuk create the sub MC. So, uh, uh, satu cost, satu lagi time consuming. Uh, time consuming. Dan ketiga tu sangatlah birokrasi. Uh, birokratik punya birokrasi punya kerenah lah. Uh. Uh, the, the what you call the bureaucratic punya uh, problems, punya issues lah. Uh, so itu di antara reasons why uh, sub MC is quite rare in Malaysia. There's only two, one and then uh, sorry, one sudah wujud, two in the process. Okay, so sangat rare. But uh, you have to learn this because we um, we um, expect that in the coming few years, more and more. Mixed development will want to create their own sub MC, establish their sub MC. So again, four types: okay, developer, joint management body (JMB), management corporation (sub MC). JMB depends on whether strata titles dikeluarkan sekali dengan vacant possession or not. Okay, so that means that under situations whereby JMB is not established. Developer punya management period confirm ada sebab dia ada satu masa tu after vacant possession until reach a certain point where MC can be um, can be established ya. Walaupun, da, uh, strat, walaupun strata titles dikeluarkan sekali dengan vacant possession but must reach a certain magic number uh, of the strata titles then only management corporation is comes into force. Uh, barulah dia dia ada, for, dia ada form uh, bila buka tu dia wujud tetapi dia belum form lagi. Faham tak? Apa beza dia? Dia macam dia dia mengandung baru dilahirkan. Faham tak? So it can be conceived tetapi birth tu kena reach a certain point of the um, of the strata title issuance. Ha? Ada kaitan dengan share units. Okay. And then finally sub MC by choice. Okay. So sekarang kalau confused lagi it's okay. For, uh, from this uh, slide, I want you to have uh, to, to put in your head ada uh, four types of management bodies. Uh, timing tak apa. Timing after this will be clearer. Okay. So, dalam kepala you, you put uh, the four types of management bodies and these management bodies depend on a few uh, situations or a few conditions. Uh, yang mana boleh wujud ke tak boleh wujud. Uh, tu je. Okay. Dia tak semestinya for all strata development you have four, you must have four uh, management bodies tetapi generally ada empat type ha? yang wajib ada for for all strata development is developer ha? yang initial period dia tu ataupun developers period and also MC, ini wajib um, MC wajib because that's the end game as I said ha? as I said uh, but JMB depends on the situation sub MC depends on the situation okay now who is the JNB? Uh, just pengenalan saja, bukan period dia. Just pengenalan. Who is because you know already developer is developer kan? Uh, so now who is JNB or what is JNB? Joint Management Body. Okay. Um, for, uh, it was first created by the BCPA. BCPA sekarang sudah sudah redundant, sudah repeal, uh, sudah dibatalkan. Remember the Act between STA, sorry, uh, the Act yang um, yang apa yang di di diwujudkan uh, for the proper management and maintenance of common property kan, uh, was BCPA. Diambil certain provisions from STA, dimasukkan some other provisions from Australia, uh, from uh, Singapore. Uh. So ada satu akta which is BCPA. Uh, 2007, then they discovered that BCPA was problematic, lepas tu repeal, digantikan dengan SMA, Strata Management Act. But the um, the the, the uh, bakti, uh, the, the uh, sumbangan of BCPA was two things, if if you boleh ingat. Satu, JNB, creation of JNB, the other one is COB. Uh, dia lah berjasa, eh. BCPA ni berjasa because 
they uh, because BCPA created uh, um, joint management body and it also created COB Commissioner of Building. Uh, dia menyelak dia boleh bantu uh, strata management dari dari segi establishment of GMB and also COB. Now, uh, tetapi sekarang ini, okay, since BCPA has been repealed, now GMB is established under Section 17 of SMA. Uh, semua penuntukan, most, bukan semua, most of the provisions under BCPA has been transferred into SMA and the creation of GMB is under Section 17. Now, the creation of Management Corporation is under STA, Strata Titles Act. Nampak tak? Ada beza. Huh? As a management Corporation, the provision for its establishment is under Strata Titles Act. JMB, the provision for its uh, establishment is under SMA. Ha, so, ada beza di situ. Tapi section sama. Lucky for, for us. Lucky for you, lucky for me. MC is also under section 17 of STA. Ha, dia punya akta lain ya. Um, uh, MC Section 17 STA, JMB Section 17 SMA. Okay, uh, so senanglah nak ingat section dia sebab sama 17. Uh, Management Corporation 17A, A yang besar tu. Uh, amended, uh, addendum uh, dimasukkan A. Now, where, whereby it shall be formed. Uh, ini timingnya. This is the conception. Ini permulaan. Whereby it shall be formed not later than 12 months from the date of delivery of vacant possession of the parcel to the purchasers. Bila saja mula, hari mula serah kunci contohnya today, 12 sebelah 4, 2021. Okay. JMB shall be formed within 12 months. Maknanya the last date to form JMB is 11 hari bulan 4, 2022. So within the one year tu, within the 12 months tu, JMB perlu di, diwujudkan, shall be formed. Okay, so apa cetusnya, what's the trigger? Delivery of vacant possession. Okay, generally, so siapa yang menganggoti, menganggotai, who um, uh, represent or who forms uh, the JMB? It comprises representative from both developer and purchaser. So ada dua. Developer, ada purchaser uh, with the main purpose to ensure proper management and maintenance of the strata scheme before MC is formed. As I said, MC is the end game of all strata uh, development punya management. Okay, uh, dia memang aim untuk wujudkan management corporation. Um, so, apa lagi? So, what is JMB lagi? Apa yang kita nak tahu kan berkenaan dengan JMB? Once you understand JMB, you will understand MC. Okay, JMB is a body corporate Body corporate maknanya satu badan korporat. Dia 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 tak nampak, ha? tak nampak tetapi dia wujud. Having, dia macam syarikat. Body corporate kan macam syarikat. Having a common seal. Ada seal, ada chop dia. And therefore, therefore can be, walaupun dia bukan orang, tetapi dia body corporate yang boleh menyamal dan boleh disaman atas namanya. Ha? That's why it's very important to define JMD as a body corporate. Dia macam syarikat, ha? dia macam company. Okay, the duty to establish. So, siapa yang wajib, uh, siapa, uh, whose responsibility is it to establish GMB? Developer. Developer. But then again, as we said before, as we mentioned before, GMB uh, comprises both developer and purchaser together uh, to sit in the joint management committee. Now, siapa yang buat tugas harian JMB is the JMC, the joint management committee, uh, the jawatan kuasa tu. Uh, dia mesti ada jawatan kuasa yang buat menjalankan kerja harian. JMB is everyone, all the uh, owners plus the developer kan. Uh, tetapi siapa yang buat kerja harian is the joint management committee. Bila dia establish, during the first meeting between developer and all purchasers. Uh, first meeting between the developer and all purchasers. Pada masa tu, uh, the developer will be responsible to call for the meeting. Uh, it's the responsibility of the developer. Dia akan trace all the um, purchasers, all the proprietors. Dia akan give out the notice of the meeting. Okay, uh, notice of the meeting must be given uh, in adequate time. If, I'm, if I am not mistaken, it should be 14 days. Uh, this lalu 14 ataupun 21 days. If I'm not mistaken, 14 days. Uh, untuk jalan, untuk adakan the first uh, general meeting between the developer, uh, sorry, the first general meeting of the GMB. Uh, GMB tu developer and purchaser lah kan. They come together and then they lantik the GMC, the management committee. 
I tak aja ada detail lagi tau ha, Siapa yang kena datang ada quorum Quorum uh, yang mengatakan Berapa orang datang barulah sah kan That one is too detail Sangat detail tak boleh ajar kat sini Nanti pening kepala ha, Itu semua nanti refer dah, dah kerja nanti Refer to SMA Refer to STA Okay I cannot teach you everything now Because if I teach you I'm very sure your heads will explode sebab dia ada banyak detail-detail detail-detail nitty gritty yang um, Casey hari tu dia pergi kan uh, bagi, ada some of the things I tak mention dalam kelas yeah, si, uh, Casey went with me to Fidaus and Associates uh, dan diberi satu talk uh, by the property manager punya head di Fidaus and Associates sama sama Juhu hari Jumaat baru ni because he, he was on campus, I ajar juga Tamil, I ajar juga uh, uh, Ikmal pun I ajar juga uh, so Ikmal and Casey representing the second year We went there, they gave a talk on the uh, strata management dan adalah dia sebut pasal beberapa hari beberapa hari ya, for the for the meeting ya, to 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 be valid uh, meeting tersebut. Uh, tapi some of the things I cannot teach in class and it meletup kepala. Too much, too many details. Anyway, um, uh, bila dia punya expiry date? Okay, so just now the uh, concept, uh, the, the the establishment date. Uh, which is first meeting between the uh, developer, uh, sorry uh, within 12 months of the vacant possession punya delivery kan uh, tetapi JMC created during the first meeting between the developer and the purchaser or actually the FAGM, the first AGM of the JMB okay, uh, JMB deemed to be dissolved bila dia, dia habis, expired 3 months from the date of the first meeting of the MC so sequence-nya ialah kalau vacant position, possession given without strata titles, the sequence of the management body is developer, GMD, MC and then kalau MC decide to create sub-MC, sub-MC. So ada empat lapis. All lah. Uh, so dissolve dia three, three months bila MC tu di uh, FAGM of the MC. FAGM stands for first annual general meeting. So sama juga kalau persatuan, whatever persatuan, whatever company, you must have the AGM, betul? The Annual General Meeting. Itu requirement by the Registrar of Societies and in this case, the requirement of the SMA. Perlu ada kan Annual General Meeting of the strata, of the management body setiap tahun. Dan sebenarnya meeting yang biasa-biasa, two months, two once every two months pun. Tetapi annual general meeting yang rasmi once a year kan so during the FAGM the first annual general meeting okay the JMB the JMC ditubuhkan the joint management committee bila MC ditubuhkan okay the FAGM of the MC tu uh, within three months uh, JMB akan akan uh, tidak wujud lagi dissolved akan di apa nama tu uh, tidak wujud Duties of JMB. Apa duties of JMB? Among others, to maintain the common property and keep it in good serviceable repair. Again, dia bukan maintain the pasal ya. Dia maintain the common property. Contoh, can I have? Hani, bagi saya contoh common property satu. Hanisa? Hani? Common, uh, ah yeah, ya, Doktor. Ah ya, yeah. bagi saya satu contoh common property. Uh, common property eh? Uh -uh. Oh, hospital? Apa dia? Uh, hospital ke doktor? Hospital? No! We're talking about strata! Common uh, property! Di common... dalam strata? Di balik uh, mana? Lift and corridor. Good! Lift and corridor. Good examples of siapa tu? Suara siapa? IV ke? Tak. Uh, Chan Shui Hui. Chan Shui Hui, okay good. Chan Shui Hui. Ha, contoh, ha? common property. Now, dah, tak ada nak cakap pasal hospital ke apa. Common property di dalam strata scheme, eh? remember? Dalam strata development, strata scheme, we need to know parcels. We need to know accessory parcel definition. We need to know common property. We need to know limited common property. Wajib kena tahu. Wajib kena tahu for. Ha? That, definition. I have a question. Yes, good. Uh, go ahead. Kalau uh, seorang tu dia tak ada property management punya license atau uh? lepas tu dia seorang JMB atau COB dia boleh collect maintenance fee tak? 
kalau dia tu tak ada license dia boleh kelak what do you mean uh, it's not yeah. uh, okay dia seorang property management lah dia seorang lah. property manager okey ha, dalam JMB okey kalau dia property. seorang property manager yang tidak berlesen okey dia dalam ha. JMB okey dia actually JMB we don't say dia property manager no 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 dia manager dia kalau ada property manager license property manager coming in coming in dia perlu ada license untuk menjadi managing agent faham tak kalau dia tak ada license dan dia jalankan tugas sebagai property manager dia tak dikira sebagai property manager itu boleh jadi dia punya officer di uh, yang kerja di bawah JMB okey so dia punya dia punya fees pun tak tertakluk so, uh, di bawah akta kita faham tak oh, actually ni uh -huh. cannot be actually nya kalau nak jadi managing agent dia tak kalau di company dia tak boleh buat dia tak boleh jalankan Ha? Kalau di company dia tak boleh jalan ke kerja property managers di strata, di strata development. Dia kena ada license, ha? dia kena ada registered property manager. Barulah dia boleh jalankan kerja managing agents ha? di dalam uh, strata development tersebut. Managing agent tu ada certain uh, scope dia dalam akta. Okay? So kalau dia satu syarikat dan dia buat kerja property manager dia dah salah. Dia salah. Uh, sebenarnya boleh uh, take action. Tetapi there's a lot of cases yang mana um, report tak dibuat, uh, report tak buat, bot tak tahu. Tapi once bot tahu, uh, memang bot boleh ambil tindakan. Okay, okay. okay. Kecuali okay. kalau orang tu seorang, uh, single person, individual, dijalankan tugas, dijalankan tugas. Contohnya dikutip, um, apa, dikutip um, service charge. Huh? Tapi on behalf, maknanya dia bekerja di bawah JMB, boleh? Uh, kalau syarikat lain lah tak boleh buat semua kerja dia tak ada dia tak ada kuasa di bawah SMA. Faham tak? So sekarang ni the person yang tak ada yang not a registered property manager yang dia mengutip on behalf of GMB tu sebenarnya digaji oleh GMB tu je. Okay? Uh, that's the difference. Sebenarnya uh, kalau company buat menjal, uh, dan dia menjalankan kerja-kerja property manager that is wrong. Salah. Dan boleh diambil tindakan by the board. Okay? Okay, hopefully that's clear. Siapa tanya macam mana? Okay, thank you doctor. Uh, T, T lewang ke tanya? Bukan. Marcus, tak tahulah suara siapa, I cannot sebab tak nampak uh, muka kan. But anyway, that's a good ni. Coaching. Coaching ke? Okay, sorry. Um, sangat penting sekarang ni kita cuba. The, the board is trying to make sure that strata development to managing agents. Uh, kita panggil managing agents. Semuanya registered property managers. That's why Board pada tahun 2000 tu, 2016 If I'm not mistaken lah, 2016, 7 2 years or 3 years, dia uh, Dia buat gerakan pemutihan, uh, they, they call it pemutihan lah So um, at that time, property managers, no no, 2016, 16 So must be 17, 18 uh, 17, 18, dia open up the register, uh, register Untuk siapa yang jalankan property management punya Uh, punya business untuk register with the board tanpa without having to show that you did your degree in real estate or uh, valuation uh, so dia buka dia punya grace period was two years saja untuk orang-orang tu pergi register sebab dia nak pastikan those people doing the property management tu uh, registered property managers supaya kita boleh regulate okay then some of the property managers tu um, do uh, in, in fact they do the strata uh, management okay property management dengan strata management kita boleh kata um, benda yang sama tetapi strata management is more regulated because you have to um, follow the STA and SMA especially SMA okay uh, property management biasa uh, kalau you 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 manage kan building uh, of purpose build kan satu building tak perlu tengok strata uh, apa uh, baca strata X strata management X Uh, as long as kalau dia buka strata property tak perlulah tahu pasal SMA for your building masih manage okay okay hopefully that's clear ini untuk strata saja we are talking now for strata 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 okay strata siapa yang dalam kepala dia masih mix up uh, we talking about different types no we are now in the strata titles act strata law which is we talking about STA and SMA okay Uh, maintain the common property and keep it in good serviceable repair meaning kalau lift to break down uh, kalau you outsource you kena cepat-cepat lah panggil the technicians daripada company daripada Hyundai ke daripada siapa datang and repair uh, daripada Otis ke repair cepat-cepat uh, so that's the meaning of 
keep it in good serviceable repair. Kalau escalator breakdown, ha, panggil lah dia punya uh, apa, company and then repair. Itu maksud dia. Okay. Fix and impose charges for the maintenance works. Uh, so untuk maintenance tu perlu ada uh, budget kan. Uh, dan budget tu perlu dikutip. The charges tu perlu dikutip daripada owners. Uh, so you fix how much to kutip and you impose the charges and then you kutip lah for the maintenance punya work. Okay, last year your senior tanya macam mana nak nak determine the service charge tu yang my, in my case 185 sebulan tu. How? How do you? How how does the JMB determine? Fix this. Logically, apa yang dia buat ialah list down all the um, OPEX, not CAPEX. Huh? CAPEX tu capital. Ha, yelah CAPEX, OPEX apa, um, apa expenditure setahun, divide by uh, share units and then uh, kenakan lah kepada the the owner tersebut ah uh, maknanya kalau i punya share unit 105 kalau rate uh, $1 ringgit 25 kali lah ringgit 25 kali 105 share units that's my service charge for that year for that month then insure the building and apply issue insurance lah insure here memastikan insurance di uh, di di apa nama tu di di uh, di pohon di di adakan uh, apply insurance money received for rebuilding and re uh, statements kiranya ada anything that needs rebuilding gunakan duit insurance tersebut untuk membina kembali and uh, memulihkan kembali kerosakan kalau ada certain uh, fire for instance kan, small fire and then you receive insurance money make sure the insurance money goes to the repair or the reinstatement of the damage punya uh, uh, portion of the property prepare and maintain a register of all purchases what is the name of this register uh, register ni apa, apa nama dia uh, Shami, what's the name of this register register of all purchases must be kept at the office what's the name of this register somebody answering what's the name of this register Ayalah, uh, elevator just now. What's the name of this register? Shami? Anybody? What's the name of this register? Strata Roll. Good. Good. Strata Roll. Huh? Strata Roll yang disimpan di pejabat. Ada dua register. Satu tu register di PTG. It is, it is very updated. Sebab wajib for trans uh, for any transactions to be registered kan so di PTG tu updated 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 tetapi dekat pejabat pula sometimes bila ada transfer dia tak maklumkan kepada the office uh, either the JMB punya office ataupun the MC punya office ada berlaku pertukaran ah uh. there's a change in the ownership dia tak inform updated lah uh, the list kadang-kadang setahun in my case dah hampir dua tahun nama owner lama lagi ah uh, information dah diberi anyway ensure that the building maintenance fund is audited ah uh, so duit yang dibayar yang dimasukkan dalam account perlulah di audit by independent punya body from outsider lah kan panggil accountant uh, auditor untuk auditkan the account provide financial statements to the purchasers meaning dekat AGM you kena bentangkan you have to present the financial statements what was the outgoing for that year uh, the the income for that year versus the outgoing for that year ada lebihan ke tak uh, ada uh, what, what what kind of extraordinary punya expenditure for instance uh, perlu di present uh, to the purchasers to the pro, uh, proprietors uh, during the AGM enforce house rules uh, contoh um, people making noise during weekends when the house rule uh, prohibits dia larang kan uh, ada orang buat bunyi bisa buat uh, renovation during weekends then uh, kita call JMB office which is GMC actually uh, call the GMC bagi tahu ada orang buat drilling uh, on a, on a Saturday tak boleh sebenarnya then dia pun uh, apa uh, dispatch dia punya guard uh, untuk warning untuk bagi tahu supaya stop the noise or stop the drilling ataupun um, uh, ni ha what do you call that uh, house rule against keeping any pet kan ha, lepas tu ada unit sebelah keep pet you don't go you sebagai owner you don't have to um, you don't have to confront uh, the next door owner yang simpan pet tu you just go and uh, report to the JMC uh, dan dia akan enforce the house rules powers so tadi pun duties tadi tanggungjawab powers kuasanya empowered to collect maintenance charges from purchasers yang dia sudah set berapa rate dia tu authorize 
expenditure for carrying out the maintenance works sekiranya ada kerosakan for instance uh, swimming pool ada leakage uh, bocor lepas tu air keep on getting out kan uh, so authorize expenditure to repair the swimming pool ataupun uh, maintenance work for lifts uh, common area kan swimming pool is an example of a common property um lift is an example of the common property lift rosak oh so you can uh, apa you can call in uh, technicians to come in and then you can sign lah dia punya invoice lah authorized expenditure recover money is due from purchases defaulters yang tak bayar defaulters uh, one month two months tak bayar you can recover money is due okay from whatever uh, from the normal punya uh, practice uh, Casey and Iqmal knows about this uh, hari tu dia cakap okay first of all the tindakan pertama is di disable the uh, disable the card uh, the, the what card the, the card lah the key card disable so you if you want to go into the condo area you have to um, stop your car at the guard and then you have to manually go and tekan the button and the palang goes up and then only you can go in kan but with the uh, with the key card you can easily swipe or you can read your card so automatically you can go in huh? the, the bar can go up and then um, disabling also the key card from going certain lifts huh? kan ada dia punya key card tu you have, you have to swipe then only you can go up to your floor huh? you paksa lah jat, terpaksa lah um, naik tangga kan stairs Second, um, apa nama step that can be taken is you can, um, apa nama tu, you can, um, you cannot stop the water but you can slowkan the water, slow the water uh, from the main pipe. Huh? You, uh, the JMC controls or JMB controls the water punya uh, mains, water mains, dia boleh tutup sedikit lah, uh, tutup sedikit. Jangan tutup all to um, 100%, okay, kecilkan the water that goes into, that flows into the uh, pasal, okay. Uh, lagi apa dia boleh buat, uh, finally bila dah, dah hutang tu terlalu banyak, can go and uh, seek for COB's help, Commissioner of Building's help, Commissioner, Commissioner of Building akan keluarkan satu perintah for picture, uh, sorry, attachment, attachment. Dia akan masuk dalam rumah tu, dia akan um, ambil semua movable properties and lelong and then use the proceeds to pay the hutang. Uh, so itulah powers of GMB. Acquire property for use by purchasers in connection with the common property. So in pool just now, you need to have um, dipanggil apa lah, relaxing punya chair so kan, deck chairs uh, di, di, uh, di, di, di di swimming pool nak relax kan, deck chairs, umbrella, uh, boleh lah acquire the property for use by purchasers tersebut uh, tables ke kan, uh, boleh dibeli secure the services of a person to undertake the maintenance works of course the JMC sometimes they outsource kan the maintenance work so boleh secure the services sama ada um, cleaning ke contractors lah meaning can apa nama can um, can uh, employ people kan and the contract must not be more than 12 months ini di, di apa uh, specify under the strata management act for contracts entered by the JMB, it cannot be or uh, JMC actually. It can JMC on behalf of JMB. It cannot be more than twelve months. Kenapa? Sebab after twelve months, you akan tukar JMC tu. Am tak? Ha? JMC mungkin tukar lah. Sebab JMC they are given up to two years to hold the post. If I'm mistaken, no, three years to hold to to be. To, to to be on the JMC or to be on the management committee dia dibenarkan tiga tahun berturut-turut ataupun tiga tahun, ya berturut-turut so mesti dia get lah, so tiga tahun and then have to step down but if the person is an office bearer sama ada dia chairman ataupun deputy chairman ataupun treasurer for instance dia pegang jawatan kan dalam the committee cuma dua tahun sahaja okay so that's why uh, to make sure that the contract tu um, lancar, maknanya tak lama sangat supaya orang yang sama saja boleh sign they specify that for JMC atau yang sign on behalf of JMB the contracts must not be more than 12 months okay, one year also JMB has the power to make house rules house rules contoh atas uh, tambahan daripada strata manage, uh, SMA contohnya regarding noise uh, noise regarding um, renovation 
can be made or uh, drilling whatever can be made only during uh, office hours from 9 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. and uh, not during weekends. So it depends on each strata development, on kesesuaiannya because each strata development may be different from another one. Kan? So each one may be different from the other one. So whatever works for that particular strata development. Uh, so lagi contoh um, for office uh, uh, office strata, mungkin um, the renovation work cannot be done during office hour kan sebab dia ganggu orang kerja so can only be done during weekends for instance or after office hour that kind of thing huh? so they make house rules ada lagi house rules um uh, certain places they prohibit the burning of incense you 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 uh, tak boleh bakar setanggi tu incense tak boleh so it depends uh, kalau house rule melarang you cannot do it huh? because house rules huh, dipersetujui oleh semua penduduk it's like a, a, a law which everybody has um, agreed uh, during the AGM. Huh? JMB tu semua orang. Okay? JMB ni semua orang. JMC tu represent JMB. Faham tak? JMB is the owners plus the developer just now. Kan? Betul tak? So means that kalau ada house rule secara automatic, it's assumed that all the owners and the developer agree uh, to the house rule lah. Okay? Yang enforce adalah JMC. Inilah dia, JMC, Joint Management Committee. The duties and powers of the JMB just now in the two slides too are to be performed and exercised by a JMC, Committee, Jawatan Kuasa. Sebab JMB may be 100 orang, maybe 200 orang, 200 proprietors, 300 proprietors depending on the strata development. So it cannot be that all 300 must agree must sign eh, for certain things, eh, must uh, to authorize certain things or, or do certain things. Mesti ada satu group yang represent, ada satu group yang jalankan the daily tasks. So this group is known as the JMC, Joint Management Committee. And it shall be elected by the JMB at its first meeting and thereafter at the AGM. AGM stands for Annual General Meeting. Every year, kena adakan satu general meeting. Eh, uh, uh, Mesyuarat um, um, tahunan. Okay. The JMC shall consist, ini repeat the third time dah, I rasa, I repeat the third time. JMC, mesti ada, oh tak, ini tak, ini pasal JMC, the committee itself. Mesti ada developer, uh, developer uh, sebagai wakil and not less than five, not more than 12 purchases. So, ini dia punya quota for the purchases. Okay, developer, not less than five, not more than 12 purchases. Purchases here slash proprietor tau, slash proprietor. A purchaser who is elected to the JMC can only hold office for a period, and I said just now, three years. Huh? Who is elected to the JMC can only hold office, period not, uh, not exceeding three years. Tapi kalau dia jadi, dia office bearer, kalau dia jadi seorang um, um, chairman of the JMC, dia jadi deputy chairman to the uh, JMC ataupun dia jadi treasurer to the JMC, dua tahun. Okay. Uh, sama, until the dissolution of the JMB, kadang-kadang JMB tu tak takes um, long, okay, sebab bila saja mungkin during the time of the JMB tu um, uh, strata titles pun dikeluarkan, dikeluarkan, dikeluarkan sampailah cap capai uh, the minimum amount yang membolehkan management corporation ditubuhkan thereafter JMB will be dissolved akan di delete lah ha, di, 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 di apa di dissolution di is apa bukan dicairkan dimatikan dipadamkan di, ditamatkan ha dissolution ditamatkan sehinggalah JMB ditamatkan JMB ditamatkan bila MC comes into existence ha, ada, bila ada MC saja JMB bolehlah ditamatkan a chairman, a secretary, a treasurer shall be elected from members of the GMC. So maknanya, uh, which include developers representative. Maknanya developer boleh letak dia punya representative tu di dalam GMC. Uh, dan representative of developer boleh menjadi uh, chairman. Boleh menjadi secretary, boleh menjadi treasurer. Uh, so berlaku in reality, in real life. Developer during the FAGM, the first AGM of JMB, dia bolot semua ni. Huh. Berlaku. Sebab cannot control. Okay. Because um, as we can, uh, as we look here, dia kata di sini 12 purchases kan, slash proprietor tau. So sekiranya developer tu, nama dia muncul sebagai proprietor, dia boleh letak dia punya orang dalam JMC. 
Uh, itu satu benda yang um, the COB cuba nak banteras, uh, banteras lah. Cuba try to to limit lah, try to put a stop because it's not good. It's not good to have the chairman from the developer, secretary from the developer, treasurer also from the developer because these three people are quite important. Uh, they can decide the direction of the JMB, uh, JMC slash JS, JMB lah eventually kan. Uh, so, dia cuba. The developer can vote in the JMC even though he has even though has no right to vote at the first meeting of the JMB. Uh, tapi biasanya kalau first uh, FAGM JMB tu at orang yang tak tahu akta, tak tahu law, dia akan trust 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 the developer. Akhirnya whatever happen what happen is chairman comes from developer, secretary comes from developer, treasurer comes from developer. Ah uh, hidden hidden developers yang hidden ah uh, Uh, by um, satu cara which is developer menjadi purchase, menjadi proprietor juga uh, so ada satu cara loophole lah okay could happen uh, did happen as well I try now the authorities are trying to control this from happening tak bagus okay why because nanti dia boleh kenakan charge yang tinggi dan sebagainya dan belanja banyak lah. so uh, out of control uh, by the uh, owners lah dia tak mahu macam tu don't want to be like that okay Uh, member elected shall continue to be a member of the JMC until sehingga bila dia resign or dies or bankrupt or no longer a purchaser. Bila dah jual kepada orang lain, you are no longer a proprietor kan? So how can you become JMC, Joint Management Committee? So automatically you will be kicked out of the JMC. Tak jadi lagi. Kenapa dua ni? Bankrupt, uh, financial financial records or financial punya standing is quite important sebab you are being entrusted to hold money to hold the the apa the, the owner's money kan how can a bankrupt be be apa nama tu be trusted uh, to hold or to to manage the account tak boleh lah sebab dia sendiri pun tak boleh jaga macam mana nak jaga account orang ramai Now MC, uh, our friend MC, uh, establishment of MC STA section 39 katanya sebenarnya MC 39 but the opening of the strata register is when it, it is it, dia dilahirkan. Ini the point tau, the exact point yang tadi tu conceive mengandung. Uh, ini bila dilahirkan, faham tak? So section 70 STA bila dia, dia mengandungkan, <laughs> conceived, section 39 sub 1 dilahirkan uh, if you can imagine. Huh? Quite complex kan? Sebab tadi I said section 17 equally for SMA untuk JNB, section 17 STA untuk uh, MC. Betul lah sebab once you open the strata register, the MC is born katanya. Bukan born lah, di conceived. Uh, conceived. Tetapi mesti capai satu tahap, barulah dia dilahirkan. Okay? Faham tak? Um, hopefully faham sebab I will explain to you what does it, what it means. Anyway, ni 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 ni. MC comes into existence ah uh, ini uh, dia bila dia deconceive upon the opening of the book of strata register required under section 15 so section 17 mengatakan once you dah open uh, the uh, the sorry the strata register required under section 15 section 17 mengatakan once strata register open MC comes into existence ah uh, tu dia maksudnya then Okay, the original land owner shall commence the FAGM of the MC within 30 days from the day which at least an aggregate of a quarter of the units, unit owners have registered the strata titles as required by section 41 of the act. Panjang kan? Let me simplify this for you. Okay, so ini bila deconceive, MC comes into existence tetapi belum ada kuasa lagi, baru dalam perut, belum ada kuasa untuk sign, belum ada kuasa untuk untuk make decisions. Ah, ini, okay, bila dibuka the strata register. Okay, hopefully that's clear. Bila dia betul-betul berkuasa, bila dia betul-betul wujud as a body corporate, bila mencapai this one, aggregate, huh? uh, mencapai satu situation whereby the strata titles yang dikeluarkan itu mencapai sat, uh, 2, 25% of the aggregate share units. Faham tak? So, kalau kata aggregate share units untuk satu strata development tu 1,000, Okay, 1,000, 25% is 250, betul? So, bila share units of the strata titles yang dikeluarkan mencapai 250 share units, 
ha? Mungkin 10 owner, mungkin 20 owner So it depends on the strata development kan But when the strata titles yang dikeluarkan itu Dia punya total of share units mencapai 25% of the total aggregate share units for the development Then uh, dikira diwujudlah the management corporation. Wujudlah satu body corporate yang boleh menyaman dan boleh disaman. Wujudlah satu body corporate yang boleh make decisions. Wujudlah satu body corporate yang uh, boleh uh, appoint managing agents. Wujudlah satu body corporate yang boleh um, boleh apa menjalankan semua duties uh, dan mempunyai semua powers of the management corporation. Hopefully that's clear. Ha, satu tu mengandung, ah, tak wujud lagi, dia, dia sorry, dah wujud tapi dalam perut, belum ada kuasa apa-apa okay. Satu lagi, dia dah jadi satu body corporate uh, which is this one The requirement, the checkpoint which I mentioned just now is this one actually ha, Bila strata title yang dikeluarkan kepada owner itu, share unit dia mencapai 25% daripada aggregate daripada keseluruhan ha, You mesti campur, okay. uh, uh, strata title pertama Status, uh, strata, sorry, tadi contoh dia 250 betul The first strata title contohnya 50 share units Okay baru satu kan, tak sampai tak capai lagi 250 uh, Second strata title 50 tak sampai lagi Third strata title 150 tak sampai lagi Four, Fourth uh, strata title 200 tak sampai lagi The fifth one dah capai 250 Okay, maknanya the next one akan, cap, uh, akan capai uh, 300 kan uh, So, bila 250 tu tercapai, boleh teruslah um, Apa nama tu, uh, di, di, dikatakan You can say that the management corporation comes into existence Sudah wujud Okay, hopefully that's clear So again, same as GMB before The management corporation can establish the management committee Okay Management committee, okay. Okay, management committee, apa ni? Okay, more. What is MC? So what is it? What is it actually? A separate legal entity, sama juga dengan JMB just now. Huh? Body corporate, which is made up of all proprietors, semua sekali. So bila ada orang nak salah ke MC tak jalankan tugas, MC tak jalankan tugas, adakah dia menyalahkan management corporation? Because he is actually part of the management corporation. Management corporation is a separate legal entity which is made up of all proprietors of individual parcels in the strata scheme. Uh, that is the definition of MC. Section 30 sub 2 sub 3 STA Management Corporation is like a company Dia macam satu syarikat ha, Dia sama saja macam JMB tadi ha, Dari segi sifatnya It has perpetual succession Dia akan keep uh, Ini beza dengan JMB JMB ada tempoh um, expire Tetapi MC ni perpetual Sampai bila-bila Sehinggalah that strata scheme ditamatkan okay, Perpetual succession A common sale May hold property, may sue and be sued Okay, JMB tidak boleh hold property JMB tidak boleh acquire property Maknanya dia tak boleh beli tanah tambahan Next door, uh, next um, parcel, uh, next Sorry, neighboring land is selling off A parcel of land Can JMB buy on behalf of the penduduk? Cannot Sebab tak boleh hold property Tetapi once the JMB becomes MC Mereka ada hak untuk beli That tanah yang next door tu dibeli untuk Uh, penduduk, contohnya semua orang uh, All the proprietors in that particular scheme Agrees to purchase the land For future development, katakan untuk um, Untuk create Accessory parcel for everybody else Nak buat, nak letak, nak, nak bagi parking kan Boleh, ha? MC boleh beli ha? Bila semua owners bersetuju Dalam general meeting, mereka semua uh, apa, Bagi um, Apa nama tu, keputusan Untuk beli, then boleh beli ha? By MC, GMB cannot MC is registered as the proprietor of the common property on behalf of all the parcel proprietors Tanah, ha? contoh, the master title tu atas nama siapa? Atas nama MC JMB cannot hold property, so JMB tidak boleh diregisterkan sebagai proprietor of the common property of the land Same power, so bila saja nama MC uh, muncul dalam title, the same powers is given to are given to the MC uh, uh, to uh, as the Land proprietors punya power under section 44 National Land Code uh, Right to exclusive enjoyment 
right to certain uh, reasonable airspace and reasonable underground land uh, itu semua diberikan right to support of neighboring land pun diberikan padanya right to access access to a uh, right of access to public space a uh, public place pun diberikan kepada MC what is it they have custody of IDT IDT siapa lagi nak tanya ah uh, sudahlah second year second sem issue document of title so dia ada custody maknanya dia boleh menyimpan geran geran master title the mc uses the management fund to pay for the management of the subdivided building sama juga macam gmb just now fund comes from contributions from owner sama juga just now dia tentukan they fix the rate and they collect the contributions uh, which can be you always hear service charge service charge sometimes they they say service fee ha uh, tak ah dia service charge or maintenance fee ya uh. ni bahasa yang betul lah service charge uh, but they are the same thing Service charge slash maintenance fee, uh, bayaran uh, penyelenggaraan. Ini charge uh, perkhidmatan, same thing. Uh, but you never say service fee. Ataupun, uh, but I, I sometimes hear maintenance charge juga. Uh, tapi yang sebenarnya ialah service charge or maintenance fee. Ya. Expenses ex include, apa yang termasuk dalam, uh, apa nama dia punya outgoings tu. Uh, general expenses or any expenses related to the maintenance and management of common property. Ha, contoh electricity, contoh uh, uh, cleanliness, repairs uh, or limited common property as the case may be. Uh, sama ada common property or limited common property. Now the third schedule is the schedule on bylaws. Uh, bylaws for the regulation of subdivided buildings among others. They outline the duties of parcel owners and functions of MC. Itu je lah. So apa dia punya functions? Ini functions of MC under the third schedule of STA. Maintain in state of good and serviceable repair the fixtures and fittings. Huh? So good and serviceable repair. Ini sama macam JMB tadi. Huh? Being used in connection with the enjoyment of more than one parcel or the common property. If needed, establish and maintain suitable lawns and gardens on the common property. Maintain, repair and renew sewers, pipes, wires, cables and ducts. Huh? After 15 years, the piping system needs to be replaced 15 to 20 years. Uh, so mestilah di di renew kan sistem perpaipan tersebut maintain maintenance must be done regularly repair pun kalau ada kerosakan di di repair apabila kerosakan ada kerosakan and then upon the written request of a writer or of a registered charge of pasal produce all documents related to the insurance bila saja ada proprietor yang minta bukti uh, ataupun minta uh, yes proof ataupun dokumen insurance perlu diberikan kepada proprietor tersebut proprietor tu mungkin ada reason why they want to ask uh, maybe want to show show to dia punya uh, bank uh, yang the whole scheme is being insured so mestilah diberikan charge di sini kalau bank uh, bank uh, um, yang Okay now, MC kan boleh pinjam duit. Okay, MC bila dia pinjam duit, dia pinjam dan dia sandarkan the master title to the bank. And they use the the master title, the land as the collateral. Okay, collateral means the the the, the, the cagaran uh, for, uh, for the for the amount being borrowed kan. Uh. So, the bank sometimes they want to see insurance with documents uh, because they want to protect their investment. They want to do some uh, housekeeping for instance. Nak pastikan semua uh, properties yang dia bagi pinjaman tu ada insurance. Then, if they ask the MC to provide the insurance documents, the MC must give the insurance document to the bank. Charge here, uh, contoh tadi, I bagi contoh bank. Without delay, enter in the strata role any intended change or any dealing notified to it. Kalau ada perubahan owner, di, diletakkan dalam strata role tersebut contohnya. Sub MC. Okay, sub MC very briefly because we are going to touch this in more detail later on. Uh, section 17A membenarkan sub MC to be um, created whereby the MC may designate LCP, limited common property. Dia boleh me, me designate eh, the limited common property, me, apa, mewujudkan limited common property and create one or more sub MC. Eh, satu sub MC untuk satu limited common property for instance. Only for the purpose of representing the different interests of uh, pasal proprietors and macam mana cara untuk create sub MC comprehensive resolution ketetapan komprehensif uh, conducted under the SMA so they must conduct a uh, an annual general meeting or EGM extraordinary general meeting dan perlu mendapatkan comprehensive resolution uh, pada masa meeting tersebut barulah boleh um, tubuhkan sub MC but more later on uh, when we learn about sub MC timing 
Timing of management body, ya, yeah, the periods. Okay. T0. T0 is the point when vacant possession is delivered. Okay. And when T0 is reached, bila vacant possession tu mula diberikan, maknanya serah kunci, perlu ada maintenance and management of the strata, strata scheme. Okay, sebab you dah bagi kunci kepada penduduk, penduduk pun um, tinggal, pindah ke kawasan, ke strata scheme then you must manage the common property, must manage the the corridors, the leaves dan sebagainya. So, from T0 up to 12 months, from that date, management maintenance will be under the responsibility of developer. Masa ini dikenali sebagai developer's management period. Now, this assumes that strata title is not given with uh, vacant possession. At the end of developer's management period, setahun tadi tu, one, uh, one, tw 12 months tu, GMB will take over and undertake management uh, management and maintenance until MC is formed. GMB will be dissolved three months after the AGM of MC. Ini tadi dah mention. Thereafter, selepas itu, management corporation will undertake management maintenance. Huh? Sekiranya uh, sub MC diwujudkan, sub MC will undertake management maintenance of the LCP, of the limited common property. Again, Slide 76 refers to the situation whereby vacant possession of the uh, of the of the parcels are given without strata titles at the same time. Okay, so management periods are the dua satu before existence of MC and then after the existence of MC before MC after MC. So before MC is under part four, after MC is under part five. Strata Management Act. STA tak ada lagi kena-mena. Management is under SMA. Management by, so it can be divided into two. Before MC, we have developer and also we have JMB. After MC, we only have the MC and we have the sub-MC. Itu saja. Okay, after the MC. Now, this is the situation before strata title is issued. The four, the four management bodies. It starts with the developer. And this is known as the developer's management period. Okay, developer's management period. So, uh, the management period for developer's management period is from the date of delivery of vacant possession to strata owners until no longer than first one month after the FAGM of the JMB. Bila nak diadakan FAGM of the JMB? Within 12 months from the first day of the vacant possession punya delivery. Remember from just now? And then bila saja uh, JMB is created, JMB punya management period is from the first date of the FAGM of JMB until the first AGM of MC. Itulah, of course lah. From FAGM JMB until FAGM MC, uh, itu masa untuk joint management body punya management uh, period. Okay. If strata register, so this one is before strata register. Sekiranya strata register has been opened before FAGM of JMB, JMB does not need to be created to be established. Okay, this is the next slide. So, uh, for following the JMB untuk situation before strata title is issued, we have the MC. Finally lah, the end game ya. Yeah? Finally, from the first AGM of the MC is the management period. So, if the MC decides to create sub-MC, the management period is from the date of the first AGM of the sub-MC. Okay. Sekiranya, dan sub-MC cuma diperlukan sekiranya ada LCP, Designated Limited Common Property. Sekiranya tiada keperluan, if there is no limited common property, no need for sub-MC. Again, if strata title is issued together with vacant possession, no need for JMB. Cuma ada developer and MC sahaja as shown under the next slide. Huh? So, developer's period is section 9, SMA, JMB section 17, uh, management corporation 57 and 59, and sub MC 17A. Anyway, so this shows after strata title is issued, two situations sahaja, developer and MC dan ada jika ada keperluan, sub MC. Now, the difference between um, vacant possession given with strata title, without strata title, the period for developers management period tu. Huh? Kalau diberikan tanpa um, uh, strata titles, is known as the developers management period. But once the strata title is uh, issued and developer masih lagi jalankan tugas uh, management and maintenance, this period is known as initial management period until they reach the aggregate of 25% of the 
25% of the 25% of the aggregate share units. Ha, the strata titles of the 25% of aggregate share units have been issued. So sehingga capai 25% itu, developers management period tu is known as initial management period. This is the question just now by Kahu ya. Yeah? Managing agent, appointment of managing agent. COB has the power to appoint managing agent if all strata owners refuse to be on the management committee. Or, or MC fails to perform atau ni bukan off. Uh, kalau di, tak ada siapa nak jadi management committee because everybody is busy. Everybody is working. Myself a lecturer, ada orang jadi doktor, ada orang jadi lawyer. Kan, dia tak have no time to spare uh, during his weekend or off, uh, apa, after office hours to go to the management office to look at the documents. Tak ada masa. So refuse. Tak ada orang pun boleh jadi MC. Kosong. Zero. Masa during the AGM. Semua refuse ataupun MC fails to perform. Ada management uh, committee tetapi management committee tu tak perform. Contohnya lift rosak berbulan-bulan. Eh? Nobody comes to repair. Or the swimming pool is broken. Nobody comes to repair. Um, contoh lagi cleanliness. Eh? Not satisfactory. Uh, that can uh, fall under the category of non-performance of MC kan. Uh, so, so kalau itu berlaku, COB boleh appoint managing agent. The fees for the managing agent will be determined by COB. Managing agent has to deposit a performance bond. And it depends lah 20,000 ke. Depending on the strata development. 20,000, 10,000, 100,000 and depending lah. The amount of which is determined by the COB.